Hello friends, this is Tujamul Adil. DJI has just upgraded the Mavic Mini line of drones with the release of new Mini 2. A lot of you may own the Mavic Mini and wants to upgrade to new drone. Let's check in detail. So let's go and explore. Let's start from the bags of both drones. Personally, I like the shoulder bag, which is more practical, but Mavic Mini provided handbag, which is kind of difficult to use, but both bags give plenty of space. These both drones looks identical. Let's check the Mavic Mini and this is the Mini 2. Let's check them side by side. You might mistake one for the other. The design itself is basically the same with some small changes. DJ Mavic Mini didn't record 4K video. Basically, it has a 2.7K. 30 frame per second video resolution but mini 2 had a 4k 30 frame per second mode which it can shoot at a bitrate of 100 mbps there is a new light on the front of the mini 2 which can adopt a wide range of hues other visual changes are the addition of a 4k logo on the front of the 3 axis gimbal Both of these drones are 249 gram and not a lot of variance between the Mini 2 and Mavic Mini when it comes to the design. Some of the measurements seem to be 1 mm different to their counterparts but the crucial take of weight remains the same. The Mini 2 surprisingly has a more advanced proprietary system called Ocosonic 2.0 you will be able to control and see the Mini 2's video feed from much further away than on the Mavic Mini and the Mavic Mini maximum flight range is 4 km but Mini 2 range up to 10 km. Both drones have 3 modes, sports mode, a fastest flight version, a normal mode which suits everyday flying, a cinematography mode which would suit movie makers. Mavic Mini controller is smaller in size compared to Mini 2 and an upgrade to the radio system make this one of the most significant difference between these two drones. The Mini 2 has a much beefier controller with twice the battery power. Mini 2's controller can handle any height of any phone and pretty much of any thickness. It also means the phone as monitor when connected is at the top of the device. Mini 2 has a built-in cable for connecting to phone and it's wrapping properly with it which is more handy.
while on Mavic Mini they provided cables separately for connecting any mobile phone to the controller. Let's attach the mobile phone to the controller of Mavic Mini and see the fitting process. The Mini 2 really stands ahead is the technology hidden inside Okotsanic 2.0 which is markedly better than the enhanced Wi-Fi in the Mavic Mini. You can shoot raw photos on the Mini 2. Actually raw photos give you better editing facility than JPEGs which means you can fine tune the results a bit more in programs like Photoshop. DJ Mini had a 14% price hike compared to the Mavic Mini. What you get in this price is like 4K footage, Ocasonic 2.0, better flight range and a better controller. If you are interested in drone footages, click on this playlist. And if you have any query to ask me in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.